we had to make the, the hard decision to sort of uh, go into hibernation mode for the next little bit um, due to like financial reasons because of COVID. And because of that, we've sort of put, um, put everything on hold. Megan Moore is the VP of operations for the Toronto Roller Derby. They haven't been able to have a scrimmage or game for well over a year because of the pandemic. It's been really tough. Um, in the beginning, um, it was really easy to make the decision to stop skating because the province and the city of Toronto and the whole of Canada was aligned on really stopping all of that stuff to keep everyone safe. Um, and there was a point in the summer where cases were down and it looked really promising. Like we were, able, we were going to be able to get back to it. Um, and uh, that, that hasn't happened. So it's just been a, a roller coaster. I'd love to tell people that even though it's a full contact sport, it's not an aggressive sport. The roller derby community in Toronto and across Canada is a close knit group. And right now they would be in preliminary games for their season. But even with the restrictions somewhat loosening a bit in Ontario, the governing body of the roller derby has strict guidelines on how they can return to play and Ontario doesn't have low enough COVID numbers for them to get back on track. So they have once again put the season on hold, but now it means they won't have a rink to go to when they eventually return. The decision was made so that we could come out on the other side, hopefully stronger. Um, but it does put us into a position of like, we have to find a new home. We have to find a new place to skate. And we don't have access to the same sort of funding and the same sort of um, sponsorships that a lot of these really big leagues have. So we're really hoping to find some community spaces that want to support um, women and, and underrepresented people in sports and sort of help this community find a home again. Moore admits it's been heartbreaking to not be able to get back on the track and let the league start up again while some other sports are able to. She says they've even had an influx of new skaters over the summer from people trying it out on parks or streets during the pandemic. Well, there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding Toronto Roller Derby. What are you guys doing to kind of stay connected as a league? As a league, we try to do some stuff together, whether that's continuing some at-home workouts to try and mimic what we might have been doing on the track. Um, and in the summertime, doing some socially distanced like skate hangs where you find a nice patch of concrete and hang out with your friends with masks on at a, at a safe distance. Moore says they are optimistic that they will potentially be able to get a scrimmage in the summer, but says that athletes' health and safety comes first. Lindsay Dunn, City News.